I landed in London and I thought the last thing I want to do is date anybody or be with anybody. I just want to enjoy my career, travel the world, see London. I'd never been to London before. And then Ali Ash came in when we were rehearsing in London at Dan Static. And when he walked into the room, he had this gorgeous tan, tall, dark, handsome, white v-neck t-shirt, ripped jeans and sandals because he was in the middle of summer with a backpack. I mean, gelled slick hair. And literally everybody in the room just stopped and started looking at him because who's this man that's just arrived through the door and looks like a god, basically. Ali Ash came over at one point and he said, when are you going to let me actually buy you a drink? You know, I'd love to just take you on a proper drink at some point. And I looked at him and I said, absolutely not. Like, <laughs> I just said no. And then uh, he turned around and he said, you know what? One day I'm going to marry you. Watch this face one day. I'm going to marry you. And I just remember like almost gulping out my wine and going, yeah, okay, sure. You know, like, let's see when that day actually comes. All I was looking for was love at the time. And I found it as soon as I walked into that studio. Or something, oh. And uh, that was it. Uh, from that second onwards, the chase started, Kate. I know you can communicate through the art of dance, uh, but actually sometimes being able to explain yourself is, it uh. must have been very frustrating to not be able to do that. My English wasn't good to begin with at all. When I did we try met, to talk to you. you. You did. I did. You did. I did. You know, because he came over <laughs> and, and started to try and talk to me. But at that point, the extent of his English was hello, goodbye, yes, no, yes. maybe, and thank you. You know. And don't forget, will you marry me?